I am so inspired right now to share this story with you guys. Um, a testimony, I should say. So one of my friends just called me and shared her testimony and I just had to get in prayer for her about it and just really thanking God for the amazing blessing that he just gave her. And in that, God was like, post a video. And I was like, huh, okay. So I'm just trying to be obedient and hopefully this will encourage or bless someone. Um, make a really long story short, my friend had a car and it was a bucket of a car, she says, and she was in the process of trying to get a new one. Now this bucket of a car didn't have any like major, hadn't had any major problems up until this point. Like nothing like that would leave her on the side of the road or anything like that, not even a flat tire. It was just an older car with no air and things like that. And so it had normal old car problems, but nothing so severe that um, it left her like stranded. So God set everything up for her to get this amazing car. I mean like fully loaded, top of the line navigation, like everything, right? And she's driving like an hour and a half to go get the car in this older car. But as she's driving in this car that's never given her any like severe crazy problems, the car starts to overheat, the car starts to smoke, like the lights are going off in the car, the car starts making noises she's never heard before. But as she's driving, she said, God was like, just go straight, like push through. So she said, I'm driving and I'm just like, okay, Jesus, you know what? You're not telling me to do nothing but go straight. I'm gonna go straight, that's all I'm gonna do. Like, okay, I'm focusing on you. And as she's saying this, I'm like, wow, the testimony of that, right? Um, I'm like, wow, the testimony of that. So she shares this entire um, story with me. She gets to a place, she gets, she drives like, I think this happens and she has like 20 miles out of driving like that, going like 40 miles an hour down the interstate, but just literally focusing and trusting on Jesus and trusting in his word because everything in her was just like, just go straight, just keep going straight, just keep going straight. When she got, you know, to a place, all of a sudden, you know, God was like, turn right, turn right, made another right, and we ended up parking the car on the street that didn't have any kind of like two hour parking sign or anything like that, so the car could stay there like for days if needed be. And she gets out of the car and she's like, man, okay, She's like an hour and a half, I mean, I'm sorry, a mile and a half from where she needs to be. And she goes, okay, I can walk this. Got it. I'll pause the story right there. So as she's sharing this story with me, I was like, yo, <laughs> the testimony of that is so bananas because how many times have we been in situations where God has assured us, like, I got you, but all I need you to do is just focus on me. All I need you to do is keep your eyes on me, keep your mind on me every single day, and I got you. Even though everything around you in the world is giving you smoke signs, giving you lights and flashes and signals and sounds and noises and people around you and all of this, all of these distractions that get you in a place of where you, you won't go. Because you're thinking, well, if all of this is happening around me, even though God says to keep his mind focused on me, I shouldn't go. I shouldn't go. But the fact that she was obedient and she had courage to drive this car 20 more miles on the interstate going 40 miles an hour, but everything in her spirit was just like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just keep going straight. I was like, yo, that is just the blessing of that because when you think about how God works. Sometimes one of the things I share with her was sometimes, you know, when God is trying to get you to a place for you to be able to really hear him, he will take away all these distractions in your life, right? And when he's trying to get you to the next level of blessing or to a bigger blessing. So here she is driving the, driving the, I guess, you know, BC level blessing and God's trying to give her, bring her to this A level blessing, the next level blessing. But it's not going to be without trust. It's not going to happen without trust. It's not going to happen without you really truly believing in him, in his word. So here it is. She's driving her car to the next level blessing, to the greater blessing. Yes. And everything around her is telling her, don't do it. Stop. The smoke. Everything is going off around her. But she says her spirit wouldn't let her give up. And I said to her, like, whoa. That is a word. <laughs> like, that is a word. Oh, man, I can't wait for her to share this testimony. That's just a little snippet of it. Um, but I just wanted to say that for you guys to be encouraged. Because so many times when things are going off around us, all these different things and all, all these different signs and signals and smoke that's going off around us telling us what we should not do, what we could not do, and what we may not be able to do. But if God says, stay 
focused on me. Keep your eyes on me. Just keep your mind on me. I got you. It don't matter what else is going on around you. I'm trying to bring you to that bigger blessing that I have in your life. Come on, somebody. Man, that just so ministered to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> because sometimes in life, I definitely have felt, you know, I'm going through so much. And you're like, God, can I have a break? Like, come on, Jesus. <laughs> And we don't know that sometimes you're just 20 miles out, you're just 10 miles out, but going at a 40 mile an hour pace mm, to get you where he wants you to be for that bigger blessing. To make a long story short, she made it to the dealership. She went and got in her brand new car and drove that baby home. Ha! Come on, man, in Jesus' name. So I just, ha, huh, man, when I hung up the phone with her, I was so encouraged. I prayed and, and, and just asked God to continue to bless her just for her obedience in that. Because that testimony completely ministered to me and I hope this ministers to you as well. Man, if we keep our eyes and our mind focused on him and just literally have that must receive faith, he will take us to places we've never dreamed, believed, or imagined. Because that's his work. If we believe and say on his word, that's all we got to do. Man. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. Jesus' name. Amen. And that's the Taja take. <laughs>